Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Wayfinder, I want to talk about how you can level your reward tower, your weapons, and your Wayfinders fast, because Wayfinder keeps updating constantly, and the meta is changing pretty so often, but I feel like what we currently have is going to be pretty set in stone for a little bit. As of right now, repeatable quests, the book quests in Lost Zones, have been nerfed, so those are not anymore a good, viable, repeatable farming method for experience, for really anything. Might as well do it if you're running the, like, general Lost Zones and you have the quest, of course, but other than that, it's not worth, like, priority farming. Reward Tower XP, Wayfinder XP, Weapon XP, it can be obtained pretty easily through just playing the game, albeit at a slow rate. Side quests and general quests while you're going through the main story and doing uh, all the side quests are a generally good way to get a ton of uh, reward tower and XP for your characters. The issue is, right now, the game doesn't really have a ton of good repeatable quests. They have the one-time side quests, main quests, and the priority quests, but after that, you're kind of out of luck when it comes to experience. So maybe once you hit level 30, swap out to a different weapon and or wayfinder just to maximize the amount of experience you get. And as long as you don't have reward tower level 100, you'll probably be fine. I imagine no one or just not many people have maxed out reward towers right now because uh, it's quite the grind. I myself am at like level 40 of the reward tower and I've played a good chunk, but albeit not as much as a ton of other people who've hit like 70, 80. So yeah, that's definitely something to mention. So. Right now, repeatable quests just aren't it, but the one-time quests are. So let's talk about open world, highlands, uh, the woods, all of that. The open world areas are pretty decent overall for collecting items, but probably aren't the best for collecting experience. While you're killing enemies, while you're collecting treasures, you're still getting experience, right? It's just not going to be the fastest, especially in the Highlands, because the Highlands is, you know, the lower leveled area. And the areas do not follow your level. Lost Zones, you can sphere up, right? Increase the difficulty, and they'll follow your power level. But the Highlands and any of the open world areas in Wayfinder, they are static leveled, so static amount of experience, meaning that, yeah, the open world, only the, like, Reaver Woods, the farthest section, whatever it's called, right? I'm terrible with names right now, but only the second open world will be better for experience, and even then, it eh, might not be worth it, but it's definitely a lot better. So if you are planning on farming experience, do it in the secondary open world. Mainly, I'm just using Highlands to collect experience items, right? So like I'm um, farming Knight's Maw. I'm getting some experience doing that, but mainly it's for the items, right? As well as we need to eventually kill more of like Talon's Pyre world boss and Knight Maw, but right Right now, Talon's Pyre has like a 30 minute cooldown, so that's not gonna really be really good XP at all. Maybe it's a 30 minute cooldown, maybe it's an hour, but the world bosses right now, the only one you can properly farm is Knight's Maw. But you have to open open world Highland chests in order to get Worm's Bait, and while that does give you experience, it won't give you the most experience. Even fighting the higher level Highland enemies, Gloom Spheres, right, or Gloom Tears, uh, Gloom Meteor Events, whatever those are properly called, you can farm all of those while you're a lower level in the Highlands, and it's not going to be that bad, right? But once you get the ability to have a higher level artifacts that boost up your power level, no matter which wayfinder or weapons you'll use, you'll definitely want to push into the later areas, like in the woods area. I really can't remember if it's properly called Reaver Woods or if it's something else. It's like a something woods. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the spooky woods, but either way, you'll want to push into that secondary open world if you want to do open world leveling. So, let's finally talk about Lost Zone leveling, because that's really all this game has as of right now. It's going to have more daily quests and like jobs, expedition maybes, raids, dungeons, but as of right now, it essentially has three things for experience. Questing, repeatable questing, which is like one-time quest good, repeatable's bad. Open world activities, which is just essentially killing enemies, which is usually better experience, and farming for like treasures, items, uh, loot, which is usually not as good experience. But the third method, which is lost zones, is probably one of the better methods 
because at least you can scale lost zones with your level somewhat. I will say this right now, the earlier lost zones, even the bosses, even at a higher sphere level, are not the best experience. It looks like Wayfinder has 100%, whether this was intentional or not, made it that all of the later zones, even in lost zones, just seem to be better experience, right? So you'd be way better off fighting a low sphere one, like Riven or low sphere one boss in the later section, compared to fighting like a Broodmother sphere five, right? Even if they're similar power levels, the later Lost Zone boss is just gonna give way better experience. Plus, later Lost Zone bosses and later Lost Zones seem to have a just general better or larger area or better concentration of enemies. So I'm just kind of talking words around. But enemies seem to be more prevalent in later Lost Zones. Either there's just more of them, they're scattered better, or you can just get more XP from killing all of them. And the bosses on later on in Lost Zones also seemingly are a lot better because they start spawning a lot of enemies that actually seemingly give a good amount of XP. So yeah, whether they made it intentional or not, later Lost Zones will just be better. Later leveled bosses will just be better. A lot of people are going to have to farm or like a ton of bosses in the game in order to collect and craft all wayfinders and all weapons. So what I would really recommend is if you're playing wayfinder, you're gonna wanna go through the game like this. Play the wayfinders you have, right? One or two, however many you have, depending on when you buy the game or whenever the game goes free to play. Buy all of the starter weapons because you can purchase those with gold, right? When you can, try to craft one or two Wayfinders. If you have a Wayfinder token, might be a good idea to use that, but just go through the game like this. Play through the main story, pick up every single side quest you possibly see, and do all the quests while leveling your Wayfinders and weapons. If a weapon hits level 30, if you wanna be more efficient, swap that out for another weapon and get leveling. If your Wayfinder hits 30, swap that Wayfinder out and get leveling. You're not gonna level your Wayfinder all the way to 30 doing the main story, especially if you're power farming the main story because you just need to side farm a lot. So just go through all of the objectives and constantly try leveling your side stuff. Once you've completed the main story, side quests, everything, you've unlocked all the bosses like Riven and all the woods areas, maybe eventually once Wormwood area is unlocked, all that jazz, then you'll be able to farm up older bosses for more Wayfinders and weapons. And that'll just repeat the process. Fight as high a level as possible for whatever gear setup, Wayfinder weapon setup you have. Fight the highest tier possible with spheres because you're just just gonna get more experience and target farm your weapons and wayfinders because that's all there really is to do in the game artifacts as well recipes target farm things and swap out your wayfinders and weapons if you just want statistically right now the best farms just do the highest level farthest loss zone you can do it's that simple but the game and devs are well aware at right now it seems that the game's xp rates are yeah way too slow so xp rates are going to get buffed in the future i imagine this general setup of worst best type of xp farm is going to stay but yeah, numbers are gonna get boosted. It should be increased and it'll be a little less painful. Hopefully we'll get to the point where we can properly do the main story without doing a ton of side content to level, but we'll have to wait and see. As of right now, that is the best way to farm and level up your Wayfinders, weapons, and reward tower XP. But we just don't know how things are gonna go forward and how many like XP increases it might be finalized too. So. Yeah, just farm the latest level everything, highest level everything. It'll also give you way better echoes because end game echoes are also fa farmed in highest level uh, lost zones and highest level open world. So that's the meta. Just get as far into the game as possible and do the latest content because that's where the strongest stuff will be and the best rates. So it's very simple. There's not really a lot to it. There's just a lot of like side stuff to consider depending on what loot you want to farm. So open world loot, you know, 
equip your weaker stuff, hopefully lower level stuff, and it might be a little better to level. If you're gonna do higher level stuff, equip your higher level leveling items and then swap out from there, right? The game is definitely gonna need a lot of quality of life changes and updates as time goes on, like uh, loadout type uh, options. Each wayfinder and weapon have their own echoes, so maybe eventually uh, echoes are gonna be able to be swapped between everything so that you don't have 90 billion echoes for all six wayfinders and like 20 weapons, right? Because each one of those weapons and wayfinder sets is going to need a different set of echoes and same with artifacts. So yeah, the game needs a lot of quality of life and we'll have to wait on that XP wise and just gameplay wise. So thank you all for watching this video. If uh, it helped at all, check out Epic Games creator code Pupsker if you use that store. And uh, other than that, I have social medias, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that jazz, Discord, all in the description below. So thank you for liking, commenting, checking out any of my videos. Cheers.